Hello, I'm Florida Secretary of State Laurel Lee. I want to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us at this virtual celebration of the 20th of May, Emancipation in Florida. Today, we commemorate and celebrate the historic declaration of the Emancipation Proclamation with a historical overview, a dramatic reading of the document, and a video of the traditional emancipation drumming. At the conclusion of the Civil War in 1865, Union Brigadier General Edward Moody McCook was assigned to receive the surrender of Florida Confederate forces in Tallahassee and the surrounding area. He arrived quietly, entered Tallahassee, and set up headquarters at the Hagner House, known today as the Knott House Museum. General McCook announced the Emancipation Proclamation to be in effect on May 20th, 1865, freeing all enslaved persons in the region. We have celebrated this momentous day in Florida history ever since. Soon after May 20th, McCook left Tallahassee and turned duties over to U.S. military personnel from Jacksonville, including the United States Colored Troops. Although we wish we were able to gather together to mark this important day, event co-presenters, the Florida Department of State and the John G. Riley Museum are delighted to share a virtual commemoration of the Emancipation Proclamation's announcement in Florida. We do this in the spirit of celebration of community, history, and freedom, which we hold dear. The 20th of May virtual event would not have been possible without the help of many people. I want to specifically thank the John G. Riley Museum and their director, Dr. Aaron Myers. The John G. Riley Museum has partnered with the Museum of Florida History since 2001 to put this annual celebration together. I want to also thank Mrs. Altamis Barnes. We are so grateful to Ms. Barnes for her leadership and dedication to ensuring that the 20th of May is never forgotten and never taken for granted. Thank you to Tallahassee Mayor John Daly, Leon W. Russell, Chairman of the NAACP National Board of Directors, Jarvis Rozier of the United States Colored Troops Living History Association, Brian Bebo, who portrays General McCook, Tim Barber, Executive Director for the Black Archives History and Research Foundation of South Florida, Lenitra Bennett, Morning Anchor for WCTV Eyewitness News, Dr. Cheryl Howard, President of the African American Heritage Society of Pensacola, and Hunter Hill and the other Emancipation Drummers for participating in this year's virtual programming. Thank you so much for helping us celebrate this important day in Florida history. Finally, I would like to recognize B. Cotellis, who's been the Knott House Museum Manager since 2004. This will be Mrs. Cotellis's final year working with us, and I would like to thank her for all she has done for the site and for the 20th of May.